What's up everybody and welcome back to another JS Halloween video and today guys we're going to be doing my final Halloween yard display sort of setup. I'm going to be putting out all the big animatronics today so I hope you enjoy if you do please subscribe to the channel leave a like comment down below and guys stay tuned for the video of my entire Halloween haunt for 2024 uh coming out very soon so stay tuned for that so without further ado guys let's start moving out all the halloween um animatronics all right guys so i just put out the nine foot clown as you can see he's all up and ready um i've put him in the same position that i put him uh last year so i've got a couple of other animatronics i have to put out so yeah he's the first one up he's tall i haven't connected any of his wires because i'm still going to try and figure out how to do that and how I want to run it. Obviously the PowerPoint's right there. So he is the first animatronic out. He's awesome and yeah, super excited. So guys, I got this hanging clown which I'm putting into the arch. So yeah, he's very awesome. Done a review on him yesterday. So go check that out. I'll leave it in the description. But yeah, he is here and I'm gonna hang him up in the arch. So he's all hung up. As you can see guys, this is pretty much the final piece that completes the haunted tunnel. So he's definitely very awesome. And I'm not gonna show you the rest of the tunnel because I'm gonna leave that to the full Halloween haunt video. So stay tuned for that. But he's all up, he's very awesome in here and definitely very happy. So guys, I just got the newest, uh, biggest animatronic in my collection and that is the eight foot uh, skeleton as you can see he's all done he's all good i did use some fishing line to give him some more support but he is big he's awesome and i absolutely love him up here and hopefully he lasts till the day of halloween there's only a couple of days to go so hopefully he lasts till then and hopefully we don't get any strong winds so we've gotten two of the biggest animatronics up the clown and the skeleton and yeah there's only a couple more but i have to think about what i want to do with them so uh, yeah so guys i've also put out the animatronic tombstone and the pumpkin so i've got two other sort of decent sized animatronics which is the 1.8 meter tall witch and reaper but i'm not 100 sure how i'm going to do them but i do have to figure that out because i did take photos for the foundation that i am doing a fundraiser for this year and i had them on the grass but i'm not 100 sure because they're not exactly the best sort of structure and they don't have a base it's sort of hard to like have like the clown that have stakes and everything so i'm not 100 sure what i'm going to do but i'm going to try and figure it out so guys, I actually decided to change the cemetery up a little bit. I actually decided to put the Reaper in the position where the skeleton was. As you can see, the skeleton is on the floor. And I'm actually thinking of putting the skeleton on the grass with the um, bigger skeleton. But as you can see, guys, obviously it's going to look sort of weird because the clothing and stuff will be flying everywhere with the wind. But I think he does fit a lot better in this sort of area and I sort of want to keep him close to the house. I don't want to put him really close to like the front yard because I don't want somebody obviously pinching it. But as you can see guys, this is what he's looking like. I like it a lot. I'm just not sure where I'm going to put the witch, but I'll find a place for it. So guys, I decided to put the skeleton as you can see. He's very cool. It's very funny having him next to the big one, but yeah, overall definitely very awesome and lovely. So guys, I actually just run the wires for the electricity, for the clown and for the skeleton. As you can see, I just got it going through this waterproof box. It goes uh, along the pathway in one of the um, like cracks over there. It's not really a crack, but it's part of the design, obviously. Uh, then it runs through the graveyard and into a power supply, which will go to the obviously the power and i'm gonna put a plastic bag over there just to waterproof it but overall the clown and the skeleton are in their position wired up ready for the big night obviously i will test them but yeah that is what it's looking like 
So guys, that's going to wrap up the video today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I have the witch on the floor right here because I'm not 100% sure where to put her. Um, I don't know where she goes best. Really, I bought the witch just for the comparison, um, having no sort of clue where I was putting her in my display. But obviously, I've got to find a spot for her. So I'll probably put her on the, um, on the porch somewhere. But I'm not 100% sure where. So probably the next video when I do the haunt reveal and I show you the whole thing, you'll have her or she'll be put up in her position. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Stay spooky and bye-bye.